Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install a Windows Phone 7 theme on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, it does not work on the iPad yet, but uh, again, it does work on the iPhone and iPod Touch. It is called OS 7, and it is the first theme of its kind because it does not require Winterboard. So that is really amazing. What you're going to have to do to get it, first of all, is make sure you have Backboard downloaded from Cydia. So in order to get Backboard again, just open up Cydia, and what you're going to do from there is just go to the Search tab at the bottom, and once you're at the Search tab, you're just going to type in Backboard. It is is all one word and then you can just go ahead and download it it is from the mod my i repo so you do not have to add any custom repositories you can just install it and it is a free download so that is also great once you have that done you're just going to go ahead and open up safari once you're in Safari, you're going to enter the link that I have posted in the more info below. I'm not going to read it off because it is extremely long and you will have to type it in manually. So uh, just make sure you do that. Now, I'm going to stress that the most important part is that you have backboard colon forward slash forward slash at the very beginning. If you do not have that, then it will not open it properly and it will not open it in backboard. And if you have Safari Download Manager, or if you have something else such as Goodreader, it will try and open it in either one of those applications instead of actually opening it in Backboard. And then you can just go ahead and hit go and it will take you over to Backboard and then it will ask you if you would like to download it. All you have to do is hit yes and then it will start downloading it. Once it is downloaded, it will say thank you for downloading OS 7 beta. You can now install it from Backboard and then hit dismiss. Now, I do have it twice, so that is why uh, you have OS 7 two times there. But what you're going to do before you actually go into OS 7 and install it is hit the plus button, and then you will have to save your current theme. Otherwise, there is no way to get back to it. So you can just go ahead and type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in default and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit create and then it just makes a theme of what you already have in the layout that you already have set up so uh, once you have that then you can just go into OS 7 and then hit install and confirm and then it will set up OS 7 and once it is done it will ask you to respring and now it's done and it says complete would you like to respring and I'm gonna go ahead and hit respring and I will be back when my iPhone is back up and running alright so now I am back and here it is it does have live tiles as you can see the weather is moving along with the calendar now it is not that laggy it's actually super fast and responsive it's just that way because iDemo makes it that way unfortunately and uh, the live tiles actually aren't real live tiles it's just like standard uh, of course it does tell you what day and month and uh, everything like that but uh, other than that it's basically just standard like for instance the photos it just gives you like a generic photo there Facebook that's definitely not my Facebook so uh, it doesn't give you that actual personalized feel that the real Windows Phone 7 operating system does however this is just the first beta and I'm sure many more updates will come with it too uh, there are a bunch of other things that I have issues with as well if you try and open up the multitask bar for instance I will go ahead and do that now it doesn't do anything but what it actually does do is it gets rid of your status bar uh, so that's really bad you have to swipe back down again I really don't like that but I guess that's kind of how it works in Windows Phone 7 I guess uh, however I just don't like that I like to see my status bar at all times and basically there's no way to open up the multitasking bar whatsoever uh, another thing that's really bad is if you try and open up any application no matter where you are it will say beta version and it'll say you are currently using the public beta version of OS 7 if you like this theme please contribute to the theme developer by donating and then it'll ask you to donate which is super annoying another really bad thing is the only thing that you can do is actually unpin things and repin things uh, you can't actually uninstall things which is really super bad so obviously you wouldn't be using this for everyday use you just put it on to show off to somebody who has a Windows Phone 7 uh, and be like hey you know look I have the same operating system on my iPhone just basically trick them out there and also another complaint that I have is that you cannot access 
access spotlight and you can't search for any of your applications but again this is only the first beta so I'm sure these issues will be fixed in future versions so I hope you guys like this video I was just letting you guys know about OS 7 and how to get it uh, please comment let me know what you think in the comment section below and also rate this video up and be sure to subscribe to be notified when I release new videos this is ICU signing out